Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this quick tutorial. Uh, I actually wanted to show you guys um, how to use reverse weeding for um, the Starbucks logo. Um, just because I've seen some people having issues with keeping this little nose and mouth to stay. Um, you know, during the time of weeding, sometimes it gets stuck to the other pieces of vinyl that you're pulling out or it slides around. And either you have a crooked nose when you apply it, you don't have a nose at all. Um, and so you either have to redo it or just leave it as is and then, you know, it kind of doesn't look exactly like the logo because it's missing or, or these little um, features are moved around. So I went ahead and weeded this out already because this is pretty simple. Um, so now I'm just going to show you on the reverse weeding how to do that. And I use the Magic Cover contact paper from the Dollar Tree and um, it works, works pretty well and it's... Um, a dollar for quite a bit of I don't know the exact footage on what you get but I mean you get a, a hefty amount so and then for weeding I use the this little Cricut weeding tool that looks like a dental pick I use that and then I use uh, my scraper so let's go ahead and get started what I'm going to do is take the backing off of this contact paper and sometimes it's not very easy to come off so I just kind of poke a hole in it and make a way for me to get it off. And I cut this to almost about the size of this because I'm going to layer them both. So I'm going to center. I'm working upside down here, so. Okay, I'm going to just center that. Actually, let me face it towards me so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put some pressure on. I'm going to focus this pressure right here in the middle of the face so that I can make sure that when I pull that vinyl off, that nose and the mouth stay where I need it to stay. Alright, so I'm going to turn that over and pull the backing off of the vinyl. And I'm going to tape down my contact paper so that when I'm trying to get all the vinyl off. It doesn't stick to me. Okay, so I'm going to just start with the outer corner of the logo. And just be very careful because I've done it many a times where my vinyl sticks to other pieces and I start ripping off stuff that I don't want to come off. You might also want to have um, the Starbucks picture up on your screen or print out of it just so that you know what pieces that need to come out and what need to stay. This little triangle here probably would have slid around but because it's on the contact paper it's staying exactly where it needs to be. See that little tiny nose and that mouth? That would have normally come off with this. But because it's stuck on that contact paper, it helped stay put. These are just the little eyelids that need to come out. They're so tiny.
Now you could have used a normal way of weeding, but like I said, this technique was just for, this is mainly for, um, you know, tiny little cuts, very intricate cuts, especially if you don't want your cuts to move around and slide around or get lost. It's nice to have it stuck on contact paper so that you know it stays put. But just remember to always use that scraper or put pressure on your vinyl when you put it on your contact paper. Alright, so now I'm going to... Sorry, I have to work upside down because the way I have my, can't, my phone. Okay, so I'm just going to eye this here. Do you see that little triangle stayed put there? I need that. So I'm going to just scrape that down again. And it all came off. Okay, now this is ready to be applied onto the coffee mug. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that because I, y'all requested it. So again, Sorry, I'm working upside down. What I do is I just kind of see where I want it placed. Okay, and I want it right there, so just press down in the middle. Make sure there's no air bubbles, no creases. And I'm going to roll one side down first. I'm going to lift this side. I'm just going to roll the other side down. And I don't see any creases or any bubbles. So yeah, everything looks good. Hopefully you like that tutorial. Hopefully it helped you with um, understanding what reverse weeding is and how to apply the decal onto a mug. Please leave your comments and questions down below. Thanks. See you in the next video.